Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS and I have a really quick zombies update for you guys on Infinite Warfare Zombies. As you guys know, I really am hyped for Raven the Redwood, so I'm going to be posting content here on my channel for it. Well, they actually added in the brand new challenges for Raven the Redwoods with today's update, as well as the Fate and Fortune cards that we are going to be getting as part of DLC 1. So I'm going to go through those guys. Hope you enjoy the video and let's jump into it. So we're going to go to uh, actually barracks first and check out the challenges. It's under soul challenges and there's a whole section for rave. So it says uh, kill enemies while in rave vision. That's the first challenge. Next one is ride the zip lines around Bear Lake, which is pretty cool. The next one is Prince Charming. Find and equip memory charms for your weapons. So there's going to be something you can add to your weapons called memory charms, which seems pretty cool. The next one is stick them, get kills with the harpoon gun. So it looks like that crossbow that we saw in the trailer is actually a harpoon gun, which sounds pretty interesting. The next one is get kills with the double sided axe, get kills with the machete get kills with the spike bat, get kills with the golf club, those are going to be the four melee weapons for the map. Next one is grab the mower and mow down some zombies, so maybe that's something we can ride around and like mow down zombies, that'd be really cool to see. Next one is Bigfoot Hunter, kill the elusive Bigfoot, and the last and final one is earn all the challenges on Bear Lake, all ch challenge badges. So once you do that, you get the master challenge, which is those that card on the bottom that you can see all the perks like walking across which is pretty cool so I'm definitely hyped I'm definitely gonna be getting all those challenges which sounds awesome and let's go to the fate and fortune cards now in loadout and I'll show you guys the brand new ones that you can get so the first fate card the ones that you automatically unlock is gonna be timely turret on melee summon six rising turrets of molten lava that deal damage to zombies so that definitely sounds awesome uh, there's gonna be some type of lava that comes up when you knife a zombie so that sounds pretty awesome now let's go to fortune and these cards that are going to be in fortune the first one is fire change creates a link to the closest ally that kills zombies so if i have you know another player next to me that's obviously playing the game with me then it creates a chain link between both of us and it's going to kill the zombies which definitely sounds awesome the next one is purify each charge heals players on taking near fatal damage while dealing damage to zombies so basically if you're hit by a zombie and you get hurt but there's a charge that takes place you're gonna get healed and you're also gonna damage the zombies so that definitely sounds pretty interesting uh, the next one is explosive touch zombies in direct contact with the player explode so that's kind of like you know the one where they turn into fire uh, so basically they just explode if they hit you which isn't really too crazy and the last and final one is shared fate adds marks zombies damage done to marked zombie as long as it apl and is also applied to the other marked zombies so basically how it works is there's going to be zombies that get marked when you ads on them so basically if a zombie has a mark on it you ads at it it has a mark all the other zombies with that same mark are also going to have x on them so if you shoot the zombie that you're aimed down at then it's going to damage the other zombies as well as the one that you're aimed at so that's pretty cool uh definitely sounds awesome so anyways guys those are all of the fate and fortune cards as well as the challenges for rave in the redwoods i'm definitely really really stoked to play it now as you can see it's not available in uh solo or or public or anything like that but uh, i am definitely stoked to try it out and I'm going to be streaming some Spaceland over the course of the weekend because it is double XP. So if you guys have time, you should definitely try to play it as well. My name is Greg FPS, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.